Everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna take a look at putting Unify Access into UID. The one benefit of this is we can manage everybody in UID and our users could unlock the doors with their phones. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting or Unify Access Consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find me on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we do have affiliate links and I'll put those in the description below. I already have a video on the initial setup of UID that will go over a lot more, but I just got a UDM SE. So we need to set it up again on this console. So in my Unify OS settings under updates, we could see that there's UID and we need to set up the identity. We could see here that we have activate UID, one click Wi Fi, one click VPN, UID access AD LDAP integration, and we'll click the end user license and then we'll press activate UID. Then it comes up with a note please read before setting up UID. And what we're going to focus on here is specifically for Unify access. So it says currently NFC cards and PIN codes registered in Unify access cannot sync with UID. Please register them in UID to avoid door access issues. So if you already have users registered, you're gonna to wanna to follow that. So I'm just gonna press confirm. Now it's asking us for a workspace join key. And at this point, you should already have your workspace set up. So I'll go into my UID workspace and we can see here that we have UID agent token. I need to create a new agent token for this UDM SE. I'm just gonna call it test and then we'll press next. We're gonna copy and paste the UID join key and then we're gonna enter the join key in this space right here. Now it's asking, select a site of Mac Telecom Networks. That's the only site that I currently have. If you had other sites, you could register it for that. And I'll press next. Now we're on step four. So it says import Unify OS user to UID. So it found one user, which is myself, and it has an access card of 10001, and we'll press next. Now we're on the last step where it's gonna ask us to import our Unify access. We can see the Unify access hub, the reader pro and the reader light, and we'll press next. And this is gonna upgrade our console to UID. UID has finished, now let's launch it. All right, so I've already done that initial video, as I said, on UID, so I'll put a link down below. This video is just gonna be focusing on UID access. So we have our UID access doors up top. Let's click on that. So here we have our dashboard, which would show us the activity of the Unify access, which we haven't done anything with yet. And we could see that we have four devices, one door, and we could add a visitor or we could add an NFC card. We could also look at some of the door logs, which it says zero, but we could filter out the door logs for one day, one week, or one month. And we could also view more. If we do the view more, we could do custom searches for what door or for any specific date. Now let's click on the devices and see what that shows. Now on the device page, we could see this Mac Telecom agent is offline. That was my UDM Pro. So that won't be showing on anymore. I need to delete it from UID. But then we have my UDM SE, which is our UID agent. We have the hub, we have the door reader pro, and then we have the reader light. It also tells us the status, the model, and the IP address of either the console or the Unify access elements. It will show us our MAC address and it will also tell us if we need a firmware update. If we're gonna be adding some more access hubs, we could add a device. If we had another Unify Access Hub, Reader Lite or Reader Pro plugged in, it would show up under here. Under NFC, this is where we would be adding a new card. So I have a couple UID Access cards beside me and I also have the Reader Pro. So we'll press Add Card. And then we're gonna select the reader that we're gonna be adding the card with, which I'll be doing it on the Pro. So we'll press Select. And it tells us to hold it up for five seconds. And now we can see that the card is gonna be taken into our Unify Access. We could see the NFC card number, and then we could see the assigned to, which would be an existing user. And we already have an existing user that's called YouTube test. And then we're gonna assign the card. Now going down to doors, this is where we could assign a new door. We have our doors and then we have a door group. We could add a new location. This could be a door name, and then we could input which floor it's on. I only have the one access hub plugged in right now, so it will only be on one floor. But if you had multiple doors and multiple floors, you could select the doors and the door groups. We could also do custom policies. We have access all doors, and then we have Mac Telecom network policy. We have schedules, and then we have holiday groups. Under the access all doors, we have access allowed, and then we could select which users could go to this door. I'm gonna click select user. We'll click on users. It shows zero, I think that's a bug. And then we'll select Cody McCallum, and YouTube test and press okay. Since this is select all doors, we don't need to do anything under the doors. 
and we could have them access a schedule. So if we only want our employees going in from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday, we could set up that schedule. And then we'll just press save. A lot of this is pretty much the exact same as the Unify Access application. We could add a visitor if we'd like to the upcoming visitor list. And we could check on all the visitors and the visitor log. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because I do have full videos on Unify Access and I'll put those down below as well. I think the main thing that everybody is going to want to see is going to be opening the door with my phone. So let's take a look at that. Now you can see that my phone is up on the screen and I'm in the UID app for my iPhone. We could see a couple of things here. We could see the doors, we could see the Wi-Fi, we could see VPN help desk and approval. It's showing that there's no doors nearby, but I'm currently right beside it. And if we click on these three little dots on the door, we could see that front door Mac telecom test is enabled. And if I press this camera, you could see that I could see the actual reader and I'm just pointing it at my screen right now. And we could also do unlock and the unlock will allow us to get in the door. I'm not too sure if it's a bug, why it's showing no doors, but there are a few different settings that we could do for the mobile unlock. And let's take a look. So we could have Bluetooth enabled and we could also have our location enabled. If we're near the door, we have mobile tap and then we have mobile shake. So we could just shake our phone and it will unlock the door. I think the integration of Unify Access in UID is gonna be really cool. I just need to figure out why my UI app isn't showing any doors nearby so that I could test out the mobile shake or the mobile tap. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you'd like to see me do more videos on UID Access in smaller form videos, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.